Hello everyone and welcome back to digiet.com, a platform where we make life simple for management students worldwide. In this video on the subject of service marketing, we are going to cover the topic on what is benchmarking and why should you do it. The video highlights the importance of benchmarking in the services industry. Additionally, it also covers the basics and the levels of benchmarking that can be applied in a firm. The video also highlights the examples of Emirates Airline and its Carlton and how do they benchmark their services in their respective industries. So now let's start with the introduction to benchmarking. Let's start with what is benchmarking and why should you do it? Benchmarking means studying another organization's performance in an aspect of your business in order to improve your own business. It is a continuous process of comparing a company's strategy, products and processes with those of the world leaders and the best-in-class service organizations. Benchmarking is one of managers' best tools for determining whether the company is performing particular functions and activities efficiently, whether its costs are in line with those of competitors. Moving on, benchmarking is a process through which a company measures its products, services and practices against its stuff with competitors or those companies recognized as leaders in its industries. The idea behind benchmarking is to measure internal processes against an external standard. It is a way of learning which companies are best at performing certain activities and functions and then imitating or better still improving on their techniques. Now let's look at some examples of benchmarking. Starting with the first one, it's Carlton, a benchmark in Jordanian hospitality. It's Carlton opened a new property in Imam Jordan. It is set to become the new benchmark for hospitality in the entire country. It's Carlton Hotel and Residence The Man offers modern lifestyle living through the brand's unique food and beverage dining venues, luxurious club lounge, meeting and event spaces, and the largest luxurious rooms in the city. The hotel also has a 1,000 square meter grand ballroom, a boardroom, and five meeting rooms. The hotel also offers a full-service spa and wellness experience. It houses indoor and outdoor temperature control pools, six treatment rooms and the largest jacuzzi in Amman. Moving on to the next example of Emirates Airlines, a benchmark in post-COVID travel. In 2020, Emirates was rated as the safest airline in the world in its response to the COVID-19 pandemic norms according to the Safe Travel Barometer. The airline set an industry-leading safety benchmark since the resumption of its operations and topped the ranks with a safe travel score of 4.4 out of 5 among 220-plus airlines judged worldwide. The score is based on an independent audit of 26 health and safety parameters evaluating traveller convenience safety protocols announced by airlines. Safe Travel Barometer monitors and benchmarks initiatives in the travel, tourism and hospitality space for the post-COVID world. Now moving on to benchmarking basis for any service organization. A company that decides to undertake a benchmarking initiative should consider the following questions. Number 1. When? Benchmarking can be used at any time but it is usually performed in response to the needs that arise within a company. Next, why? This is the most important question in the management decision to begin the benchmarking process. Question number 3. Who? Companies may decide to benchmark internally against competitors, against industry performance, or against the best of the best. Question number four, what? Benchmarking can focus on roles, processes, or strategic issues. It can be used to establish the function or mission of an organization. And question number five, how? Benchmarking uses different sources of information, including published material, trade meetings, consultants, customers, and marketing representatives. Benchmarking can be applied at three levels. Let's see how. First, internal benchmarking. These can be carried out in a larger organization by way of comparisons between operating units. Thus, a financial institution might benchmark operations across branches, different colleges under the same education, authority, etc. Next, competitive benchmarking. This is probably the most frequently quoted use where comparisons are made with directly or competitive organizations. And finally, functional or generic benchmarking. This approach compares specific functions such as distribution and after-sale service. The advantages here are that information is sometimes easier to obtain than when comparisons are being made with competitors. Care has to be taken in selecting the dimensions and scales to be used for performance measurement. And finally, benefits of benchmarking. First, the best practices from any industry may be creatively incorporated into a company's operations. Next, benchmarking is motivating. It provides targets that have been achieved by others. Resistance to change may be lessened if ideas for improvement come from other industries. And finally, benchmarking broadens people's experience base and increases knowledge. So that's it folks. This brings an end to the topic on benchmarking of services. These are the list of sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you.